We have Kobe among us. What are we, Kobe? <laughs> what so are I'm we, the Kobe? imposter. He just said among us, so that obviously makes me <laughs> the, the imposter. Imposter Kobe's a little sus, but uh, maybe he would have done it better if he would have, you know, fixed his hair. How did you guys know? Oh, what? <laughs> What's up, everyone? A crazy week number five is in the books here in the LCS, which means we got ourselves another episode of the Van Esports LCS Awards. Let's get to it. First up, it's been out for more than a year now, but again, 200 years in the making. The Sick Mechanics Award goes to Danny of Evil Geniuses with this crazy old flash outplay buffering of Varus, who also is one that normally used to flash ult buffer. Take a look. Nub trades back into Zuke. Zonius is forced. And Sven Skarin's gonna finish up the kill. Oh! Oh! What? Just one shot some. Bont diff. Say it in all chat. Yeah, he's got more CS, but that was pretty cute. That was nuts. That was a lot of damage. Oh, just deletes him. Next up, the say hello to my little friends award goes to Perks for outplaying this 1v3 gank by IMT on Akali. Remember, man, it's Akali. She's so hard to gank when she's got the dashes and got the smoke. They might just have the angle. Perks is saying, all right, the only way in might just be to take one of them with me. Dredgeline's not going to find the target, but Cloud9's got the backup. There's Perks, my friends, and Immortals will be cut to ribbons. Let's take another look here at the Honda performance play. There we go. I mean, you see three members, of course, of IMT looking for the play, but if you look at the river, that is three members of Cloud9 willing and waiting. The Shroud's going to buy time for Perks. The Galio Ultimate's going to make it easy. <laughs> and <laughs> it's just hop. Just destroyed that weasel. <laughs> like, destroyed him right there. This one makes sense if you watch the interview of Perks. The Cap Greater Than No Cap award goes to Perks with this quadra kill at Baron. The crazy mechanics coming on out. And thanks to his trusty new cap. Again, not, not caps, but cap. <laughs> Immortals knows they can't just give this away. You gotta go for the YOLO, go for the 50-50, but it is not so. They've got the engage coming out from Destiny. A lot of damage down to Vulcan. They'll blow him up immediately, but now let, what else can they find? Revenge being chased down. Perks going in, picking up one, having to kite around here a little bit. Oh, oh my goodness! A triple kill, a quadra kill for the mid laner from Cloud9. What you should do, no cap, is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment which one's your favorite play. Now back to it. Next, the Give Us the Ace Award goes to 100 Thieves for getting everything at the start of their match against Team Liquid, plus for some reason Tactical just running on in trying to pick up kills and not able to. We spot plus spike kills instantly. This is free if he gets the timing right. Oh, he lets it go. That's smiteable, it's taken. I think it's a mistake by Armeo. He he had that on the auto attack, but he kicks him back in the wall. Now the GP ults over the top. Someday is here, stunned up by Huhi. Oh, he's gonna land for only a slow the chase. That one more hit will kill him. And it's gonna be first one coming through for Abadaga's Karma. Second kill to come through onto Jenkins as well. And so far, so good. How did these get the objective? They get two kills. They're the flash out of Core JJ. But close with the right buffs on the chase. He's gonna get number three. Yes, he will. Core JJ is down, and now Jensen comes back in, but far too late. And Tat goes here for the fifth one. Why not give him the ace? Flashes back to his side of the map, but he's gotta be careful. Why go for the Krugs? Why go for the Gromp? He's in front of Abadaga getting some pretty good damage and actually will not get it. He oh. gives away the fifth kill and we can see this one coming. Ah, yes. The older the champion is, the less good it is. This is another clear example. 199 years isn't as good as 200 years. The Rito Please Award goes to Jensen for getting stuck in the wall as Azir and creating a super long bug and the chrono break. And it's pretty funny the way it played out. A verse is the name of the game for them. I will say, though, you get more heavily punished now because there's more gold available on the map of Summoner's Rift. Just straight up. And Cloud9 oh, is taking ball. it. Goes to the side, does not get knocked up. But what? I don't know what that was. What Maybe he got hit by a stun? I'm yep. not sure. He's just stuck in the wall. He's just e e QE'd and he's just stuck in the wall. So that's just a bug. That's straight up bug. <laughs> it gets question mark things. It's, it's got to be a, it's gotta it. be a chrono break, right? We had trouble figuring out who to give the award to for this next one. The Houdini Award goes to a Blaze Olive for this incredible escape under his tower. Although Yasui did miss that one auto attack he tried to flash for, but either way, we, we're giving this one to a Blaze Olive. Trying to run him down. 
Iconic did finish the red buff steal, but it's Yasui in hot pursuit, looking for the kill. Does have flash, does have ulti as well, but a blaze olive. Gonna get Buster shot it back there, but the dive is just too much. Yasui should be able to get the execution. Oh. Damage not quite there, he flashes back in. Oh, last little bit of damage wasn't there, and he gets a thumbs up for the attempt. Ah, uh, yes. Another one of those champions created recently that leads to funny outcomes, and this one was actually great. The Spider-Man meme award goes to Yasui and Insanity for this double culling death. Like, when do you ever see this where they're both low enough that they cull each other and the bullets that fly from the dead guy finish off the live guy where they both die? And if you blink, you might have missed it. It's in the bottom corner. Take a look. Before we get to that, Fake Guy's attempting a play, another TP. Alrighty, well, it turns out uh, with the dash off Stride Breaker, Still pretty good if you set all people into the team. Zerxe in trouble, pops the Moonfall. Faco there, now gonna dunk him back in into the rest of the waiting arms of Dig, and that Zonis ain't gonna save you as a double kill happens in top lane. They both go down. All right, those were the big plays we saw for week number five. Which ones did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks.